Today we're dropping in on the beautiful and sunny Foster City, one of the most modern built cities in the whole bay. Have you ever wondered how a city gets its name? It's very rare to get an opportunity to meet the creator of the city. Today, we are going to do that. This is an aerial photograph taken of Foster City in 1966 while it was under construction. And actually in, the, in this picture you can see all phases. Here you see occupied homes. Here you see the fill going in right in here. So that's the landfill. The landfill. Yes. And then here you see uh, the, the streets have already gone into the neighborhoods, but no homes yet. You see homes under construction. A little bit of everything over this whole map in 1966. There were a few thousand people living there at that time, but there's still a long way to go. You can see the, the 19th Avenue freeway hasn't been built yet, but it's going to go right through there. So, uh, at any rate, it's a good progress report on how it was in 1966. If you want to know more about the history and development of Foster City, Mr. Foster has written this book. It's called The Development of Foster City. You can easily get it at Amazon. Mr. Foster, tell us why Foster City and why here? Well, we're a family business, my father, my two brothers and I, and we've been in business since the early 50s. And so we were looking for a development in California a, a bit, we, we wanted a big one we could all work together on. And so we shopped up and down the coast and saw this remarkable piece of land. Four square miles of vacant land right in the middle of the San Francisco Bay Area. And it just it sort of stunned us. And as we got into the, the planning of it, uh, the, uh, uh, the planner said, well, you know, it, it, it's such a size that about the only thing that we see using it for is, is like a new town, whether it be an industry and residential and commercial. And so that's what we recommend. And my dad said, okay, that's what we'll do. We'll call it Foster City. This town is built on landfill. But when you walk in here, you don't feel that. Tell us the secret. What was the design <laughs> secret because it's all built on landfill? Well, then I'll give you the history of the land. In 1900, keep in mind that's the end of the 19th century, a man by the name of Brewer came out and built levees in the mud flats and allowed the inside to dry out and then he put it into hay cultivation. So then it began to dry out and the upper crust became land, but underneath it there's, there's 60 to 90 feet of mud. And that, this was the big issue. So at any rate, he uh, uh, created this big meadow and then they grew, had cattle and a dairy farm and so forth. So we had a deal then with with the, with the land as we found it. And our engineers, we had the best engineers in the world, I think, said uh, we've got to raise the land enough to drain it and to strengthen it. We want that top crust to be strong enough. And then we have to cope with the fact that there's mud underneath. And over a period of time, that mud will settle. So they built in a factor, or they anticipate two foot settlement over a year period of its lifetime. And then, uh, and also differential settlement. So we had to have, that means to settle at a different rate. So then we had to have foundations strong enough to withstand all that. In 2009, Forbes magazine called Foster City one of the best 25 towns to live in. Tell me about your feelings on that. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> Did you ever <laughs> consider that this is gonna be it? That well, we wanted, we wanted to make it count as wonderful as we possibly could, mm -hmm. and so, we put an awful lot of effort in, into the design. We wanted to, there to, people living here to have a sense of design, a sense of place. When they're in Foster City, they can see they're not in Burning Game or something. They can see they're in Foster City. And so we The did, uniqueness of it. That's right. And so therefore we made a special effort. Every item of street furniture was considered, for example. We got specially designed fire plugs and street lights. And, Whatever we could work on to make it kind of special, we did.
Caitlin, do you know who's the largest employer in Foster City? Foster City, 最大的雇主，我还真不知道呢。Visa. Wow, Visa 是那家信用卡公司吗？ Visa employs about 3,000 people in Foster City location. It's their headquarters. I didn't expect them to be in charge of more than 3,000 employees. Mr. Foster, what do you think about Visa to Foster City? What do you think about this city? Visa has had a huge impact in Foster City in terms of property taxes and employment base and such as that. It's made a major contribution. Mr. Foster, where are we? And is that a statue of your dad? It is indeed. We're standing right in front of the Foster City City Hall, and that's a statue of my father, which the city put up there, and I'm very extremely proud of that. My dad was the leader of our family company, very creative and innovative. Among the things that I'm proud of is the fact that we've had no discrimination in Foster City. From day one, we were considered, generally considered, the most open community in the San Francisco Bay Area. And mind you, we are talking about the time in 1960s when the civil rights movement was on. That's so correct. Foster City was one of the pioneers that had no discrimination and no segregation, and everybody was welcome. And we have been honored by the NAACP for that. I'm proud of that. Wow, today we are very happy Foster City 的市政府，那我们在身后看到的雕像呢，就是 Mr. Foster 他的爸爸雕像。当初他可是创立这个城市的创立者哦。而 Foster City 在六零年代也是首开先创，没有任何歧视，任何人都可以来到这个城市居住。Do you understand the importance of that? Foster City and Mr. Foster, one of the pioneers who led us the way for you and I to be here. So we need to salute him. <laughs> 下半节目 ，Faster City 的市长要告诉你为什么这里是最棒的居住环境。Now that we know how Foster City was created and the initial vision behind the city, I thought there was no one better to talk to than the current mayor, Pam Fasella, and 30-plus year resident of Foster City, who really knows Foster City now. Pam, thank you for being with us today. And I know when the city was built, there were several ideals that the city was built on. 30-plus years later, after its inception, how's the city faring on those goals? I think we've maintained the integrity of the Fosters, for sure, from the get-go. We always knew it was a very uh, humble family, and they, they kind of told us what they wanted the Foster City to look like, and from the layout of all the uh, neighborhoods, and, and each neighborhood was to have their own special little shopping centers, but then as things change, like the Costco comes in in places, you have to change it a little bit, but we've managed to maintain the community feel. 今天我们非常开心哦，可以来到 Foster City， 并邀请到他们的市长呢，潘奈告诉我们，他这边已经当了三十六年的居民了。他刚才说 ，Foster Family 他们希望呢保保存这个镇上面还是像淳朴正直。虽然呢有些新的企业进来，但是呢他们很开心可以保持这个 neighborhood 还是跟当初一样。So Pam, you've raised two children here. You've lived here for over thirty years. What makes Foster City so special? Well, I guess you can look around. The entire city is beautiful. Our, our park and rec department has made sure that all of our parks are you know, in, in great shape. Even with all the economy going south for a few years, we've maintained that people use parks, and uh, we want our residents to feel comfortable with every part of Foster City. We've had only two city managers, basically, in our 35 years, and they have maintained uh, how we run our city and our financial status, and it's kept us in very good shape financially. What's your favorite activity to do in Foster City? Well, right about out here, if you look around, people are walking, jogging, go by any park. It is, it, there's kids playing. It's the best part. I mean, everything is about family and community, and we're very, very proud. Foster City 不仅天气优美，而且你可以看到这边有非常丰富的户外活动，他们有非常非常多的公园。刚才呢，他有提到他们的老棍子人造湖，它不仅说只是看起来好看，同时它也是室内的这个防洪的系统。那刚才市长也提到，七月四号国庆日会是最棒的日子来看，因为他们会放烟火，而家家户户呢可能都可以在水边呐、啊，或者在船上呢观赏这个烟火。I don't know about you, Caitlin, but after all this talk about the lagoon and the water sports, I want to get on the water. So stay tuned. I think we can arrange that. Let's do it.
I don't know about you, but after the mayor told us about all the wonderful water activities in Foster City, I really want to get in the water. So we have with us Steve Browning from California Windsurfing. Steve, wow, what an honor to have you here. Talk to us about the water sports in Foster City. Well, the water sports in Foster City are pretty diverse. We have a waterfront community. So in our facility here at California Windsurfing, we make available kayaks, windsurfing, paddle boats, and stand-up boards. So just about anybody with any interest in the water has an opportunity to come out and get on the water. And we're also looking at adding another facility here for boat rentals so the people that are homeowners but live inland, not on the waterfront, will have access to the water that they normally didn't have. What if we don't live in Foster City? Can we still enjoy? Absolutely, we hope you do. Awesome. You know, Foster City is a destination you come to, not drive through. And so we'd invite everybody to come visit. That's wonderful. Foster City 的水上活动哦，非常的盛行。那刚才这个 California Windsurfing 的 Steve 跟我们说呢，其实呢早期这边比较受欢迎的是风浪板，但是因为人口组成的改变，现在变成 paddle boat 啦、独木舟啦这些比较适合年轻人的游戏哦。那以后呢，他们甚至考虑这边办这个 party boat。所以呢，有机会的话呢，不妨来这边看看哦。Okay, I've waited all day to get on a boat. Can we get on? Absolutely. Let's get on. Life jacket, safety first. Oh, okay, that's true. 听完店主的介绍，三米和我迫不及待想要来挑战一下这个 paddle boat， 也就是脚踏船喽。可别看我们踏得轻松，当天风大，就算两个人也一起花费了一番力气，才慢慢的踏回湖边呢。而如果你想要享受湖光水色，不妨来这充满阳光的 Foster City 玩玩脚踏船吧。中半岛上哪里可以随时吃到烤鸭呢？广告之后告诉你。The peninsula has some of the best Asian food in the Bay Area, and Foster City is no exception. Today, we're dropping in on Cooking Papa, an authentic Hong Kong-style restaurant, and we're here with Priscilla, one of the owners of this fabulous place. Priscilla, thank you for having us. Now, I, I've always wondered what's the difference between traditional Chinese food and Hong Kong-style food. Sammy, if you have been Hong Kong, you should know the weather is hot and humid every day, so our food is not as spicy or like greasy as the other. Different part of China. Our focus will be on the mild and the freshness of the food. So lots of seafood and steaming. Yes. Do you fry anything here? A little bit. Only the dessert, right? Only the dessert, and then you will taste it. 今天我们非常开心的来到中半岛上一家非常受欢迎的中餐馆 Cooking Papa 好主意。那并且邀请到他们的店主呢 Priscilla。刚才呢，他跟我们解释一下香港料理呢跟其他中国料理最大的不同就是口味比较温和。因为呢，香港的天气非常的炎热，你不想吃了料理之后呢满身大汗。另外呢，香港料理的鲜度也是非常重要的。而在这里，大部分的海鲜哦都是从水槽直接上来的，所以呢，保证绝对新鲜。Okay, Sammy, Kaylin, I have prepared some dishes for you to try. Let's go. Awesome. Wow, what a spread Priscilla's had prepared for us. Now, Priscilla, I know you have several items that's Michelin recommended here at the restaurant. Are they, are they here at the table? Sure, we are. So we have the Peking duck, the black sesame soup, and also the honey glazed barbecue pork. This looks amazing. I know Peking duck because I usually have it at a lot of Chinese weddings, but I don't typically see it at a restaurant. That's what unique about a restaurant. We have it served any time of the day, and then we even have half of the duck available. Now, big question: Where's the duck meat? Sammy, let me tell you. For us, the main focus will be on the skin, so you have to really try it out now. Really? Mm-hmm. Ah, 原来如此。其实今天我这个 Priscilla 带来的菜肴都是上了米其林的美食评鉴推荐榜上了。首先就是北京片皮鸭，黑色这个是芝麻糊以及他们的 barbecue 就是叉烧猪肉。刚才呢 ，Priscilla 解释了一个，就是其实吃片皮鸭主要就是吃这个皮，而不是吃它的肉。So Priscilla, I heard not only do you have good main course dishes, but you have amazing desserts. What is this? That's our infamous egg puff. I heard you're very famous for this. Yes, let me show you how to do that in the kitchen. Yay! 师傅熟练地将面团做出圆球，面团的成分主要是蛋和面粉，放入油锅里面炸个十来分钟。
，沙翁就已经长大啦。外面酥脆，里面松软的沙翁，沾上糖粉之后，就可以上桌喽。其实他们的沙翁真的非常的美味。每次呢，我从旧金山来这边哦，就是为了吃这个沙翁。有机会的话呢，你一定要来这边试试看。And Priscilla, thank you for educating me on what Hong Kong style food is all about, and for teaching me that Peking duck is not special for the duck meat; it's actually special for the skin. If you're in the area and you're looking for great food, don't forget to drop in Cooking Papa. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here with our lending expert, Risha Killaroo from Prospect Mortgage. Risha, thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me over. So, Risha, now that the market has rebounded, there's a lot of new construction out there. What kind of products do you offer for new construction? So, I mean, Prospect Mortgage recently launched a construction division to finance new single-family and condominium homes nationwide. We anticipated the marketplace comeback, and we're excited about the role we can play in the continuing upswing. We have a dedicated team of lending professionals that provide new construction financing expertise to help business partners sell more homes and home buyers purchase the home they want. Some of our new featured builder products include extended rate locks during construction to give buyers peace of mind, a special financing program for standing inventory, condo project approval services, an experienced new construction appraiser team. And a wide range of services designed for new home communities. Risha, that was great information for our home buyers that are looking to buy new construction. Thank you so much for your tips. As always, Sammy, it's a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Want to live in the Hoan Pan? Don't miss the next part of the real estate unit. 真的呢 ，Foster City 的生活形态真的非常的丰富，也非常的悠闲。我们刚刚才呢在水上玩的一些活动，觉得真的很棒。不过 ，Sammy， 我很好奇，有可能这边住在一个房子就在水岸旁边吗 ？Well, if you're going to live in Foster City, you have to live on the water. So today we have a treat. We're going to show you a brand new listing that just hit the market, and it's right on the water. Wow, 不是吧？真的吗？可以去看看吗 ？Let's go. So we're inside this beautiful Nantucket-style home in Whalers Island. And what I love about Foster City is all the unique little communities. They all have their own architectural and style. Now, of course, living on the water is the premier way to live in Foster City. So, this home is awesome because it's right on the water, and it's been remodeled by its current owners with a new kitchen, new bathrooms, and it's ready to move into. I think I might have to buy this house. 是啊，今天我们来看的这栋房子就位于这个 Wallace Island 上面呢。它非常特别，是它完全跟邻居没有隔墙，因为很多房子都有跟邻居隔墙，这样子的房子就没有那么独立的。这个房子呢，大概有两千英尺，有三个房间，二点五个卫浴，那还有一个附加的小小的房间。整个房子呢都已经更新过了，所以说呢，你买了之后呢，基本上马上就可以住进来了。Yeah, as, as you can see, we're here in the living room, and it has beautiful vaulted ceilings. But what I think is most remarkable is the amount of light that's in this house, right, Caitlin? Yeah. Not only are you right on the water, but it's so bright and inviting. How about we check out the rest of the house? Sure. Yeah, let's go. Most of the homes in Foster City were built in the 60s and the 70s, and the kitchen surely didn't look like this when they were brand new. I always tell my sellers one of the most important rooms in the house to do before selling is the kitchen and, of course, the bathrooms. And I think these homeowners did a great job. They picked nice, simple white cabinets, gorgeous subway tile, and great quartz countertops. 是啊，刚才 Sammy 提到一个房子最重要，当然要一进来看到呢，就是干净的厨房和干净的浴室，这可以帮助你在销售房子上呢有更好的进展。但是这个地方的不仅厨房都是全白，我发现到他们的烤箱居然是双层，这是双层烤箱吗 ？Well, it's a double oven, but Caitlin, do you really cook? 
<laughs> Let's take her to her favorite room in the house, the bathroom, where she loves to get ready and put her makeup on. Shall we go? We're standing in the gorgeous master bedroom with vaulted ceilings and a gorgeous view of the lagoon. Imagine waking up every day to that. Sammy, where is the master bathroom? I saw you were going to show it to me. All she cares about is the bathroom. Let's go. I'll show you. Well, this was a very good design detail. Having so much natural light in your bathroom when you're putting your makeup on is perfect. Never underestimate what you can do with a bonus room. The sellers were ingenious by putting in this loft bed for their teenage son. Sammy, what are you doing downstairs? Well, I'm checking out all the graffiti, the art from the teenager who used to live here. Wow, that sounds interesting. I want to check it out too. Nobody knows Foster City real estate better than Lisa Morris, top agent here in this wonderful city called Foster City. Lisa, why do you love selling Foster City real estate so much? Well, as a resident of Foster City, it's pretty obvious. This community is a very tight-knit community um, that has so much to offer. Um, from the walking, biking trails, which I'm on probably five days a week, that surround the waterways, to um, all the events that Foster City hosts, uh, their annual 4th of July party, the Art and Wine Festival, um, the kids, you will find every soccer field full on the weekend. The weekends in Foster City are a buzz with energy from the farmer's market every Saturday year long, right around the corner from here, um, to just, a, again, a very strong sense of community. So Lisa, one question, can you find Caitlin and I a house here? Right next door, I'm right on the water, Yay. right around the corner. 今天我们非常开心可以邀请到Lisa 心态. After today's show, I'm sure you'll see why America continues to call Foster City one of the best places to call home. What a treat to meet Mr. Foster. I'm glad to see that his dad's vision is still alive. Stay tuned for next week when we'll be dropping in on yet another wonderful place in the Bay.